This is an incoming transmission from the Jersey Shore. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. Today you'll hear some of the most important financial information and wealth building techniques available anywhere. Let's get this party started, huh? Do you have a question for Scott and the team? Am I, am I, am I on the air? 609-488-4646. That's 609 609- 488-4646. We'll get that information to them by radio. Now, Financial Insanity with Scott McClain. Do you have an idea of how much you can expect to receive from your Social Security benefits when you retire? And what about filing early? Does that impact how much you're going to receive? How do your benefits change if, unfortunately, you may get divorced or if a spouse passes away? Well, we're going to go through some of those answers today, and, well, some of it might surprise you, but we got the man with the plan, Scott McLean, with us here. Financial insanity, out-of-the-box thinking for your financial sanity, and this stuff is important, Scott, and what's interesting is that a lot of people, not very good at this basic Social Security quiz. I don't know if that surprises you, Scott, but nearly- It doesn't. No, it nearly doesn't. 78% of pre-retirees failed or barely passed this basic quiz. And uh, we're going to go through some of these questions here with folks just to make sure people are on the right page. That sound good? It sounds great. That's why it's out of the box thinking, because this is one of the biggest decisions people make. And you only get one shot at it. Now you get one year to fix it. If you already did it, you have one year to fix it. But after that, there's no more mulligan. So you've got to make sure you pick the best choice for you not listen to your neighbors. Yes, and don't go it alone. The number, if you have questions about Social Security or anything else, 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. All right, let's go through some of these true-false questions. Scott, we'll put you to the test here. All right, so first one here. In most cases, if I take benefits before my full retirement age, the FRA, they will be reduced for early filing. Is that true or false? Absolutely. It will be reduced before full retirement. This is a misnomer. People make a mistake. So that's correct. Yep. You are right. And 92% of people did get that one right. So that was a gimme. It's a symbol. Yeah, that's yeah. why I appreciate the gimme. Yeah. I'm not well, good at testing. We got to get you off to a good start here, Scott. Give you some <laughs> confidence. All right. Second question here is basic social security quiz. If I have a spouse and he or she happens to pass away, I will receive both my full benefit and my deceased spouse's benefit. Man, that would be amazing, but that is uh, false. Uh. That's not going to happen. That dog don't hunt. And this is why, Alex, Alex, listen to me. If you're out there listening to me, this is why it's so important to understand when you're doing your planning, you look at the three-legged stool, your Social Security, your pension, and your other investments. Because if your wife or your husband or your spouse passes away, you lose the highest of the two. And this could really put you in a devastating, tremendous, bad position. Don't make that mistake. If you, by the way, I see it so often, please don't make that mistake. That's why people, if you want to give me a call off the air, I'm willing to help you. I see this more often than you guys could even imagine. It's like driving down the road and you've got four tires, uh, supposed to be 30 pounds per each tire, but one tire has got five. There's a problem. This could be your problem. Alex? Absolutely. All right. Another question here is we're going through some basic questions from the social security quiz. The money that comes out of my paycheck for Social Security goes into a specific account for me and remains there earning interest until I begin to receive Social Security benefits. (laughs) True or false? That would be wonderful. It's Uh, false also. You see, you can't can't do that. It doesn't do that. They need to fix that system. But no, that is not true. That is false, Alex. Wow. And this is really important stuff. And Scott, We know Social Security right now, it's something that we can expect to help us in retirement, but it does fit into the overall strategy. If you would, Scott, kind of explain that and then let folks know how they could get a hold of you if they had questions. So, Alex, I do know in our radio show that we do have people that are under 55. And so for those of you, you need to really put money away if Social Security is still still going to be there. I'm the old dog in the house right now, 65, fixed to go on 66. And I can tell you... um, I'll probably get some of the Social Security, but those younger people, Alex, your age, 20, 30 years old, I am telling my kids, my family, my friends, 
to really put a money away, at least 10 to 15% of your paycheck. Now let's go to the question. Social Security fitting the overall retirement income. Yes, that's a good thing to look at. But again, if you're married, you've got to see what both of you are bringing in and what happened. And then you run a scenario. If one person dies, what would that look like? And then if the other person died, what would that look like? And this is where we find the biggest mistakes on not only Social Security, but the pension options and what they're offering the client. So this is a big problem that people are not paying attention to. They want a quick answer. Not good. Eh, fix it. Well, and Scott, if people do have questions, how can they get a hold of you? I'd love to hear you off the air. You can uh, call our office and my staff will get uh, make a time for us to talk. 609-488-4646. Again, very simple. 609-488-4646. And uh, anyone you pop by and have a cup of coffee, we'd love to, love to shake your hand and see you for a couple seconds, but love to hear from you. 609-488-4646. Absolutely. As we're going through this basic Social Security quiz today on financial insanity, because it might seem crazy, but nearly 78% of pre-retirees actually failed this basic quiz about this major source of retirement income for a lot of people. And so we're going to go through some more of these questions here, Scott. All right, you ready? You're not You're not done yet. All right, but Great. Gonna, That's, we got some- it's a very important subject. So I'm glad we, we discussed that for the audience. I think this needs to be heard several times, but no. go ahead. And I don't want people to feel badly either if they get these wrong, because know that, hey, you're in the majority as far as folks that were yeah. struggling with this. So it's important for us to discuss. All right. If I get divorced, I might be able to collect Social Security benefits on my ex-spouse's Social Security earnings history. What a great question. The answer is yes. I can tell you I've done so many seminars and I can tell you one woman did come in there with her daughter and we found out that she was married, uh, had two marriages. Her first marriage had a higher income than her second marriage. Hmm. They both had passed away. We jumped on to her first marriage and we looked at that she had an extra $83 a month Oh wow! coming in just by switching who it was. So that is a really good question, Alex. And so that is true. Very interesting. Okay. Another one here. Under current law, Social Security benefits could be reduced by 20% or more for everyone by 2035. It could be more than that, Alex. Um, And what's what's projected, it could be much more than that. But we'll use that number for this discussion, not to scare people. But again, start filling up your your IRA money, your non-qualified money, your savings accounts. Fill that up because you don't want a left hook. For those of you that are going to live a nice long life, have extra money. So that is absolutely important that you pay attention to that. Well, that one was true. And 58% of the people got that one right. All right. So our our final one here, this Social Security quiz uh, we're giving Scott today. Social Security retirement benefits are subject to income tax, just like withdrawals from a traditional IRA account. True or false? Actually, it's false. But let me give you a disclaimer. In Social Security benefits based on income, it could go up to as high as 85% percent. So based on their income, you're pulling from pensions, your annuities, maybe you're still working, your spouse is working, your social security that could have been tax free could be taxed up to 85%. So make the numbers easy. If you're getting $10,000 a year on social security, $8,500 of that would go on the taxable line. So in a 20% tax bracket, you've taken a hit. This is important when you're doing tax planning, which we'll talk later on, Alex, of some tax problems I've found with the client just today. Looking forward to that. Not that the person's having tax problems, but that Scott can come in here with a possible solution or at least an idea to try to help. That number for Scott, his team, McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646-609-488-4646. Talking about Social Security today, really important stuff. And Scott, when you talk to folks... How do you have this conversation about when they should start claiming Social Security benefits and pairing that with their other source of retirement income? I mean, how do you help folks kind of look at all of the numbers, the sheets and decide, OK, what to pull when? I think when I when I, I know when I meet with people before I meet with them, I send them a video and a form to fill out. So when they come in, whether it's the first appointment 
I want to get right to their questions, not my how great thou art, how yep. wonderful we are. I want to get right to the meat because time is short. And so when they send, get the video, they get the CFQ confidential survey question. This tells me what to look at. Now, if they fill it out, I'm able to dive right in to find out what's the biggest pressing issue on their life. And it usually comes down to can I retire in dignity or will it be in disgrace? Well, let's take a look at the numbers. Then we're going to look at the numbers if they're married, the spousal income, the uh, both spousal incomes, the pension income, if there's any. And we're going to really dive down. And I ask them also, if they can go to mysocialsecurity.gov, mysocialsecurity.gov, you can actually pull up your statements. And when you pull up your statements, that is helpful because I can tell you, sometimes we've found those statements are wrong oh, well. and we can fix them way ahead of time. This is really important. If you're going to take, if you're serious about your retirement, don't put this on the shelf or put your head in the sand with your vitals to be exposed. Double dumb. I mean, it, it, it could, and not a scare tactic, but it could cost you a lot of money if, if you don't. It could cost you a correct. lot of money. And Alex, yeah. the number one benefit to the number two benefit could be over $100,000 in one's lifetime. Right. This is not a let's do it quickly because my friends did it and they, they filed early. That's just double dumb. Yep. Well, and Scott, that number again for folks here as we wrap up this segment for people who may have questions about Social Security or how uh, it could play with their other source of income in retirement or anything else. What's that number, Scott? Give us a call. We'd love to hear from you at our, at our station here. No cost, no obligation, 609 488 4646. By the way, that's the website, 609 609- 488-4646.com and, and we'll be able to talk to you off the air, no cost, no obligation, just to see if we can handle some of your questions. But I'd love to hear from you. And we're right here in Weird Town, real close, beautiful place. Love to hear from you. Hey, Scott, why don't eggs tell each other jokes? They'd crack up each other? Yeah, you got it. They'd crack <laughs> each other up. You know what's I coming. heard that you when I was that a little one. try. All right. All right. All right. One, one more here. Yeah. So, National average movie ticket, $10.53. What was it in 1974? 1974. 1974. I was a little whippersnapper back then. You're a little then. whippersnapper. Uh, you wanted to go and, see Jaws or something. How much did that cost? Exactly. And I remember you could sneak in the theater and stay there forever. I don't remember. Maybe a couple bucks. I, I don't really know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe a couple bucks. You're right there. So the average, $1974, Wow. Dollar eighty seven. Hey, Mom, wow. can I have a couple bucks? Go see Jaws. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. Or, or you stay there the whole Saturday, get your popcorn, and it's like uh, uh, $3, and you can stay there the whole day, and the, the pants get you out of the house. There you go. <laughs> it's a babysitter. Yep. All right. Appreciate you, Scott. Plenty more to come here on Financial Insanity. We're going to be talking about preserving your retirement from taxes. We'll be right back. Stop for a moment and think about this. Do you know how much money in your 401k or IRA is actually yours? Or will the government take a bigger chunk than you thought? Remember, you still might owe taxes on that money. But do you have a plan to help make sure you don't pay more than you should? At McLean Advisory Group, we believe you deserve to keep more of what you've earned, which is why we're here to help you navigate the confusing world of retirement taxes. It's your money. You deserve to know what's at stake. Right now, taxes are historically low, but they won't be this low forever. So call the McLean Advisory Group team today so you don't miss out on this opportunity. 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. You work hard for your money, and we'll work just as hard to help you keep it. McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646. Investment advisory services offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisory firm. McLean Tax Advisory Group and Sound Income Strategies are not associated entities. Can we really live the go-go years or am I going to scrimp and save and stay at home and watch TV, watch Bob Barker? I don't know. Nothing wrong with that. No. No. <laughs> this is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. Well, Scott, we know every year we got to file our taxes and it can be overwhelming. It can be complicated, but there is a proactive approach that pre-retirees should take. There is a difference between getting our taxes prepared and actually tax planning. And we know, Scott, the IRS tax code's full of thousands of 
sections and definitions, rules, fees, and guess what? Taxpayers legally bound to follow all of them, Scott. So it can be a lot. That's where working with somebody like you at least can can help uh, with the whole project and, and also the, looking ahead to try to prevent some of those taxes in the future. Yeah. You know, you think about it out of 450 words per page on the tax book, mm. which is 2,652 pages of the tax code. The question is, are you getting the biggest bang for your buck? And so whether we're talking about in tax season, out of tax season, and pre in, in preparing, this is important, Alex, that uh, you bring up this tax question I have you asked me because people are not paying attention to it. I'm going to give you a scenario just today where I was meeting a young woman uh, helping her mom out and finding out that they were paying the highest tax on their investments. And this was totally undisclosed from their other advisor of two advisors, myself and another firm, which they never looked at the tax return, which we're going to talk about. Well, and that's where it's really important, Scott. And my first question for you is going to be, when do we start thinking about the tax planning for the future? And I know what the answer is going to be. And, and that's evidence here with the with the case we're going to discuss. But but talk about that a little bit. How do we go about planning for the taxes? Yeah, for our younger investors, uh, 20 to 40, I would say you really want to pay attention to investing in uh, tax-free uh, information called Roth. I like them, Roth 401k, Roth IRAs. For older people that have already maybe you're in retirement already, you've already got your money, maybe you start talking and thinking about tax planning for do I do Roth conversions or is it worth doing Roth conversions? But the most important thing is looking at that tax return on a yearly basis, which is why I built the tax practice in 2008 uh, for our clients uh, for the season of 2008, because tax returns tells us a lot. And God forbid your husband or wife passed away. Now you go from a joint tax return to an individual tax return. The taxes go up. And how do we avoid that? So tax planning is when do you start planning? Well, I think you should think about that on a yearly basis. If you're younger, not that big of a deal. Unless you start making a big pay raise, that should be another discussion. And for retirees, this should be on a yearly basis. A quick thought, at the end of the year, you do your tax returns in April. And then, of course, maybe you meet your advisor when he or she asks to see your tax returns, maybe in June, July, August, uh, for a, that, that quarterly or uh, semi-annual meeting. That tax return is a viable, critical tool. For some of you out there that maybe they're not asking for, they're actually putting you on the shelf because they say, well, I don't do that. Well, that's a problem. Maybe the advisor should call the tax guy before you come in to find out your real situation. This is a problem. Start right away. Absolutely. And we're talking about trying to limit the tax burden as much as we can in retirement. That number 609-488-4646, 609 Four eight eight four six four six and and Scott, one thing that we do know is that the tax code not exactly set in stone. It can change from one presidential administration to the next. So, I mean, how important is it? Do you discuss taking advantage of current tax planning opportunities before possible changes in policy? You better out there pay attention to that. We've got the sunset rule coming out in 2025 where a lot is changing. 2025, a lot is changing where we have the standard deduction, which is really yummy and very been beneficial. Well, that's coming off the table. And so when the federal tax break in 2025 comes off, I can promise you there is going to call the sunset. That's going to be a problem. So when you look at the tax code, that does change. It's changed since the very beginning. High to low to high to low. Reagan jumped in. They lowered it. But the question is, okay, now that we know what the tax code is, how do we plan? Not let's plan. And then, oops, the tax code is there. You've got to look at this uh, almost like a uh, wonderful concert at the studio. When you go out and listen to music, is it is somebody off key or not? You know they're off key because if you're a musician. Well, the question is, is your portfolio off key causing you excessive taxes? And this is why the tax code and why the advisor sh doesn't have to be a tax person, but should at least call their accountant, um, know more, a little bit about taxes. I mean, that's just our business. As a fiduciary, you need to know about taxes. And then if you need, don't know the answer, then call somebody who's a lot smarter. But this is a big problem. Often I notice because they're unaware. 
Scott, the age when someone has to start taking their required minimum distributions, RMDs, now 73 years old. Now, what yeah. impact can these RMDs have on taxes? Well, Alex, I think we did one uh, one workshop together, one radio show on Social Security. Yep. So frankly, when you take out Social Security, uh, you may not be paying any tax on it and your tax return looks yummy. Then all of a sudden you get a little older. Boom, you hit that wonderful age mark of 73 and now you have to take out your required minimum distribution. For those of you out there, it's a Use a simple number of 4%. How much is it going to be? Well, let's say you had $400,000 in a retirement plan. Four times four is about 16000 a little bit less, but use that for a good benchmark. So when you start taking out that 4%, every year it gets larger. Well, now if you're married, have a spouse, you're filing joint, it might not affect you as much, but it could. But now all of a sudden what happens if one of you pass away well, now you're a single, and now that could cause excessive taxes. So RMDs can be a large impact. Um, and I can tell you, when we look at the tax returns, which is why I built the tax practice, God forbid one of our clients, the spouses dies, we have to have that come to Jesus meeting saying, okay, here's what we need to plan for now. This is a big deal, Alex. It absolutely is, Scott. And I want you to give that number here for folks and and discuss you know, the fact that Taxes, it is something that it's important for your practice, especially for your office. Something like you said, you established the, the group in 2008 to focus on it. And and so just discuss how this is something that, you know, your team has been involved with uh, intimately for years and is, is, you know, right there to help discuss uh, for folks that they're, they're looking to help limit this uh, in the future. For our financial clients, we actually built the tax practice. As I said, in 2008, we started in 2007. And of course, that's after the big debacle of the stock market. And thank goodness people yeah. moved over to us. We preserved their money. We did a great job uh, on a lot of different areas. But with the tax returns was really very helpful when I started that because I was concerned about our clients. And they're uh, most people are unaware of taxes and don't like them and don't want to pay for them. So how can we get the biggest bang for the buck? And we just spoke about required minimum distributions, retirement, pension plans could change it. So we really need to be aware of that. You don't have to know how the electricity goes from the light pole to the switch, but you should know when you turn the switch on or off, how much excessive taxes are you going to pay? And this is to keep it real simple. As I think when I was talking to you earlier, Alex, today, how do we keep taxation simple? Let's dummy it down. But it can get really, you know, with 4,000 pages, it can really get uh, very, very challenging. And then people put their head in the sand and say, ah, oh, forget it. I'll just pay the tax. Eh, that's not good for me. So people need to be aware of that, Alex. 609-488-4646, the number for Scott and his team, McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646. Scott, a couple minutes left here in this segment. If you could go over, uh, you know, obviously protecting the confidentiality of the client, but yeah, go over a little bit of uh, discussion you had recently and how that kind of... Um, you know, is relevant to our discussion here today. So I have a client, a wonderful, uh, uh, lovely lady, her husband passed away. Now she is filing single and her daughter is involved and they have two advisors, myself and another firm. What I found out today was that this client had a lot of money with that firm and they never disclosed it to me and that's fine. So my tax planning really wasn't out there. Well, she just sold a huge property and made a tremendous amount of profit. And now the daughter is asking me, Scotty, I want to pull out money from my mom and I want to pull it out on a monthly basis. And she's going to need to make up in about $30,000 on a yearly basis. How do we do it? I said, let's go a quick summary. And I went through the summary. How much do we have? How much do we have in CDs, IRAs, 401ks? How much money are we pulling out? Well, Scott, you know that information. Yes, I do. But I just want to ask it again. And then, of course, I discovered that they had another million dollars with some other advisor, which is fine. I was happy for them. But I asked the question, your mom needs $30,000. Where is the money and how can she pull it out? And she said, well, Scott, all I'm seeing is here is that she's getting dividends and she's getting interest, but I don't know how to read the statement. Bottom line, let's say you're the client and you want to pull money out. Let's say you want to pull out $20,000 a year. Well, $20,000 a year, let's say on $400,000 at a 5% return, 
on your money. Let's say we buy a CD at 5% on 400,000. There's $20,000. Three different ways to invest. CDs and annuities. They're paying nice interest rates. Annuities will pay a longer period of time and give you a longer interest rate, three to five years. And of course, CDs won't pay as long. Let's say it's 5%, $20,000. That is all on the taxable line. 100% will be taxed. Now, let's say we go to a dividend, a non-qualified dividend. Well, the maximum non-qualified dividend could be up to 37% versus a qualified dividend, 20%. Let me break the numbers down. Would you like to pay tax on $20,000? Would you like to pay tax on $1,600 or tax on $800? That tells me where they need to invest Hmm. in the non-qualified tools. So it doesn't need to be the areas. Now, the question is, are you a stomach for risk or not risk? And that we have that discussion. So again, I'm not sure where your tax situation is, but in her case, she was about to pay how she was going to invest that money, $4,000 when she only had to pay $800 after tax on the inve- on that investment. Mm. This is a huge difference why the advisor needs to pay attention to taxes. And if you haven't looked at that and the advisor hasn't, which I asked her, I said, when you spoke to your advisor that's handling the positions, what did they say? Well, they never bought up taxes. Well, did they tell you the dividend ratio? Yes, we're getting $15,000 in dividends based on her portfolio. She was getting a dividend of 1.75% on the dividend. That's meager. So this is why you need to invest either for income or growth hmm. and how much you want to have at risk. So this is, could be different. I don't know about Great you, example. Yeah. but less taxes, yeah. it's good for me. I'm for that. I am for that. If you're for that, the number is 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. Well, there are more than 1 million tax preparers in the United States, so no shortage of help when it comes to tax time. But how do you find the right help with tax planning for your retirement? That's next. Who likes uncertainty? Wall Street certainly does not. With near record inflation and partisan politics, there's a lot of uncertainty right now. What will America's future look like? What will your future look like? Will your taxes go up? Will your savings go down? For more than 40 years here in the Jersey Shore area, Scott McLean and the team of McLean Advisory Group have seen uncertainty come and go. No matter what the future holds, Scott can help you create a plan designed to preserve your finances in uncertain times. And it's not a matter of if those uncertain times will show up, but when. Call 609-488-4646 now to meet with Scott McLean and the team at McLean Advisory Group. If uncertainty is causing you to feel insecure, Scott McLean might be able to help. Call 609-488-4646 and schedule your visit today. Again, that's 609 609- 488-4646. Investment advisory services are offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Put your positive hat on. Let's let's have a call to come to Jesus meet. Let's have a real live discussion. Let's get somewhere and put a, a game plan together. We made it back. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. A survey found that about half of taxpayers used paid tax professionals. But who should we turn to when it comes to tax planning in retirement? Scott McLean of McLean Advisory Group here to talk about the different types of financial professionals and the benefits of working with a retirement planner because there is a difference, right, Scott? Huge difference. Yeah. I guess the what I've found in my practice, whether you're working with an advisor who doesn't even look at the tax returns. Well, that means you're left to do it yourself and that could cause excessive work and maybe not knowing the questions to ask. Then you might be working with a financial advisor who does do taxes in their firm and they do just the taxes. You put the information and they plug it in. But then the question is, is there a consultation after that meeting or not after that meeting? Now, if there is, the question is investments. When we look at the investments, how are the investments taxed? 
Now, you might be going to a financial planner that has a CFP, which is great, a uh, qualified financial planner. Maybe it's a CPA, a tax preparer that also is a financial planner. He could have both, which is great as well. And then maybe you have the PFS called personal financial specialist. Again, with the credentials, again, looking at the full spectrum of the investments. That's great. Even better. Now, as a registered investment advisor or a um, advisor that is under a registered investment advisor, of course, we have fiduciary rules under the SEC. And so we have to follow those fiduciary standards, which is important to follow those. So this is really uh, essential in my practice because we are under those uh, registered investment advisory rules. Um, and, and an advisor, we have to look at all the areas. Now, if a client doesn't want to share all the areas, well, then I, my hands are tied. But they really want to come clean and say, here's what's going on in my life. Whether they have one advisor, two advisors, maybe they do it themselves, or maybe they just want to wing it and call it a day. The comprehensive study on these areas of taxes along with their investment is where the attitude shifts towards financial planning. And I think this is why you want to find a, a guy or a gal in the retirement world that's going to look at those areas. But I take it one step further, Alex, which I know you didn't ask, but what if you pass away? We call it the 3D approach, the dreams, the dollars, and the dynasty. How does the taxation going to pass on to the kids? Earlier this morning, I had a discussion with the special needs. Uh, father and mother, they uh, have one son, and the money's going to pass on. Okay, did they set up the trust? They set up, this is, again, leading into the dynasty. So how does your tax implications going to pass on to the kids, or in this case, a special need kid? And again, this is a conversation. This is not a sales planning meeting. This is, are you a fit for our firm or not? If you're looking for a quick one-off sale, uh, maybe you want somebody to call you every day to find the hottest, latest stock. That's not our firm. That's not what we do. We do more in-depth in studies on how can I really make this person just buckled up, bulletproof as best as I can. And with the information they give me, how can we really reduce taxes, make sure their estate is buttoned up nice and tight. So when they passed away, the business transfers to the kids, or maybe their assets transfers. How do you want it transferred? And this is the legal part on top of the taxation part. So it's a, I'm not, sorry, Alex, for the, the big answer. How but dare This you? is not a simple question <laughs> just on taxes. No. People don't like paying taxes. I don't either. No, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate that information. What I want too is that number, Scott, if people want to get a hold of you. So I'd love to hear from you. 609-488-4646.com is our website. Again, a simple call, call our office at uh, no cost, no obligation, 609-488-4646. If you have questions, I'm sure I have answers. And if I don't, I will get them. But I think I have the answers. We're talking today about preserving your retirement from taxes. And Scott, if you're somebody here, you're thinking, you know what, I'm going to be retiring in the next few years. What are some things this person should be considering, especially when it comes to their taxes? First thing is what's a medical expense is going to be, <laughs> not only taxes. Mm. Number two, do you or do you not take money from a certain investment? You see, you might be in retirement. This might be your last year, 2024, 2025, 2026, and you're about to retire. You may say, let's defer as much income from my planning because I've got plenty of money in my other investments. Now you can reduce taxes now. And now when you're retired, you have no FUCA tax, social security tax. Your tax station is less because you're not taking income. So now how do we tax the dividends? Qualified, non-qualified. How do we tax the CDs? How do we tax the long-term, short-term capital gains? This leads into the discussion, if I'm about to retire, okay, when's the retirement? Let's look at the tax return. Let's look at the income. And let's figure out, should we defer or not defer money? If you're in retirement, this says, okay, how do we pull money out? Out of the tax deferred account? Could be a Roth IRA. It could be an IRA, which should be higher, which could be totally taxed. It could be non-qualified money, or it could be qualified dividends versus non-qualified dividends. So if you're out there and scratch your head saying, what the fingernails did Scott just say? What? 
This is why you might want to give us a call off, you know, uh, in our show or area show here at 609-488-4646. I can define it more, but again, with the limited time I have, this is not just a one-off subject. This is a planning subject. So whether you're planning now in retirement or maybe you have two or three years, Alex, that's a great question. When do you start planning for this? Well, it depends when you're going to retire, but you should be looking at taxation on a yearly basis and how can you best get the biggest bang for your buck. I believe we should be taxed, but fairly, not unfairly. Yeah. There are some things that we all need, but like you said, I just want to pay my fair share, no more than that. And yeah, we can uh, discuss what fair means too, probably, but uh, that number 609-488-4646, Scott, is it ever too late to get started on tax planning? (laughs) <laughs> it's never too late to do any kind of planning. Unless you're dead, then you can't do any planning. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah. That's probably the worst thing. But yeah, you should do tax planning. Uh, uh, you know, if not, depending on what size your state is. I mean, if you don't have that much money, maybe there's not much tax planning. Sure. If you're in retirement and you don't have a windfall profit, somebody died, you inherited money from your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your kids, maybe passed away early and you receive IRA money versus non-IRA money, this is a discussion. But if you don't see a big change in your income, okay, maybe there's not much allowed. But again, You maybe win the lottery. This is a discussion. Hmm. So again, each person's different. Everyone's not a cookie cutter, but I can tell you the tax return tells or can lead a really wise investment advisor who is tax prone, who wants to understand, can I reduce taxes? Legal mind, how can we pass money on? This is probably the right place for you and McLean Advisory Group. And that number for Scott and his team, 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. And Scott, I know this is a, it's a tough question, but it's something, <laughs> it's something to think about. But I mean, we're going to create a plan that addresses the taxes in the future. But how the heck do we do that when we don't know what the tax policy is going to be in 20, 30 years? You know, you stumped me. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> because... I think we can plan on taxes. Usually when a president uh, puts a tax plan in place, Hmm. it will stick. We have a a plan coming off the table now, 2025, the sunset rules. That's going to really affect people's taxes in a very bad way. So maybe now that we know this is happening in, in another year. So when do you do it? Probably this year. So if we know what's coming down the line, hopefully it's not approved or voted for, but if it is, or isn't, you can do a little bit of planning. If this approves, this is the game plan. If this isn't approved, this is the game plan. So again, Alex, that's a, a good question. Uh, thinking about in the future, but it, but they usually give us heads up. Hmm. This is why Congress, I don't believe, should be able to buy a play in the stock market because they have heads up before we do. I think that's wrong. Well, when it comes to taxes, how do we play the game? Listen to what's going on. The financial advisor or your tax uh, tax advisor should be aware. And by the way, if you're out there and you have your own business, I'm going to make a plug for a company called Bradford Tax Institute. Bradford Tax Institute, if you're a self-employed or have your uh, great, great firm and you're building, you want to reduce tax, they've got a great periodical, very condensed, very helpful. I make nothing from this promo at all. They're not paying me, but I want to make it very clear to you. It's a great, there's a lot of periodicals This guy's on the ball. So again, Bradford Tax Institute could be a great resource for you self-employed people. If you have questions about that or anything else, the number 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. Scott, just a little bit of time left and, you know, talking about Social Security today, talking about taxes and when it comes down to you, and and sorry to date you, but somebody celebrating a 41st <laughs> work anniversary, I think it's significant because it speaks to the time that you've been around, the decades that you've seen, and uh, you're somebody who can help discuss a comprehensive retirement strategy. You know, we, we did the, just what you're saying, Alex, being in this business as long as I have, and I, I don't know what I would do. I, I love this business. I love helping people. 
uh, that want to be helped, by the way. There's some people that just listen to you and they blow off the knowledge. That's where I wrote the book, The Three Blind Mice. It really guides people through the challenges in the world. And I went back to 1982, 83 when I got licensed. And I go through that on The Three Blind Mice book. Now, by the way, if you come in and visit with me, and I'll give you a book. Visit with me, have an appointment, do the CFQ. We'll be able to help you. But I think what's important um, on everything, listen to me right now. If you're not looking comprehensively at your total portfolio, whether you're married or single, maybe you have disabled children, maybe your husband or wife is disabled, what kind of planning do you need? And this is why the comprehensive study, the, the dreams, the dollars, and the dynasty is so important to look at those three aspects because it takes you and look at you holistically, not uh, simplistically. Because simplistic is... I'll do the tax returns. Goodbye. Oh, I'll invest some money. Goodbye. Uh Uh-uh. This dog don't hunt. We need to take an understanding of what you're doing and what's going on. And life has a way of changing all the time. Today, you're healthy. Tomorrow, you can't get out of bed. Okay, we need a game plan. This is important to discuss, Alex. And what's that number, Scott? 609-488-4646. Give me a call off the air at our studios, 609-488-4646. No cost, no obligation. Love to share some information with you. If you feel it apropos to come in, I think you would love the time you spend at our firm. Thank you, my friend. And another friend of ours coming on, we'll have David Connolly, special guest joining us, talk about special needs and some information that you need to know around that. So that is coming up here on Financial Insanity with Scott McClay. Stop for a moment and think about this. Do you know how much money in your 401k or IRA is actually yours? Or will the government take a bigger chunk than you thought? Remember, you still might owe taxes on that money, but do you have a plan to help make sure you don't pay more than you should? At McLean Advisory Group, we believe you deserve to keep more of what you've earned, which is why we're here to help you navigate the confusing world of retirement taxes. It's your money. You deserve to know what's at stake. Right now, taxes are historically low, but they won't be this low forever. So call the McLean Advisory Group team today so you don't miss out on this opportunity. 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. You work hard for your money and we'll work just as hard to help you keep it. McLean Advisory Group, 609-488-4646. Investment advisory services offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisory firm. McLean Tax Advisory Group and Sound Income Strategies are not associated entities. I call it the chicken and the egg. The chicken is the investment. The egg is the dividend. And so when the chicken pops out the eggs, if you don't need the money, let's reinvest the eggs and buy more chickens. Man, that's just an excellent analogy, Scott. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. The basics of special needs benefits and trust planning. Talking about that today, this is Financial Insanity. I'm Alex Dingman, alongside, as always, Scott McLean of McLean Advisory Group. And then also, Maybe his better half? I don't know. But special guest, Dave (laughs) Connolly, lawyer in the area for over 40 years and is now a consultant for the firm of Elizabeth Apollo, of course. But Dave, coming in here to educate us a little bit about a very important topic, because maybe your current advisor hasn't asked these important questions, and this is something that should be checked in on on a yearly basis because things can change. But talking about taking care of someone with special needs and talking about the benefits uh, that go into that. And Dave, this is important stuff because there are resources out there that folks might just not be aware of. Absolutely. With a special needs uh, child, you want to, or adult, uh, you want to be able to take advantage of whatever government entitlement programs there are. There are a myriad of different programs out there. Some of them are means tested, which means that they're critical on your assets and your income. Others you're entitled to regardless, depending upon uh, how long you've worked. The Social Security uh, office would administer them and will determine whether you qualify or not. But the more important ones are Medicaid and SSI. 
those are means tested programs that you have to qualify for. The SSI will pay for your shelter and food. The uh, Medicaid, which is more important, will pay for your medical, such as long-term care, home care, provide you a myriad of different um, different medical resolutions. And if you qualify, it, it becomes very important to maintain those benefits. The problem is that parents or other people that want to take care of a special needs child or person, uh, they don't uh, understand that if they provide income directly to that person, they get kicked off the entitlement program. And when you're living in a long-term care facility that's costing $12,000 a month and Medicaid's picking up the tab, if you get kicked off, you've got a lot of problems. So proper planning has to be performed in order to provide some assistance to the disabled person who is getting the entitlement programs. Very important. And if you hear something today, the number 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. And, and Dave, this seems like an obvious question, but why is this so important? What are some of the challenges that somebody is going to face, especially financially, uh, if they are taking care of someone with special needs? Well, you want to maintain that person on the entitlement programs, as I indicated before. So what does the trust do? The special needs trust provides a quality of life that will allow that disabled person to maintain that quality and is still maintain the government assistance. For example, the Medicaid program will pay for the long-term care facility, but other things such as uh, uh, transportation to and from the doctors, uh, recreation, uh, a computer, all of these items are not, not addressed by Medicare, Medicaid. And as a result, the special, uh, special needs trust is set up so that it will provide these tools to the disabled persons to bring them up to a quality of life. So you got a twofold uh, problem. One, to keep the medical, the medical benefits flowing in. Two, to bring the person up to a quality of life so that they're not just uh, the basic having their bills paid, the medical bills paid, but uh, have no quality. Alex, I'm thinking uh, as Dave is sharing this critical information, as we look at f clients uh, on a daily basis, we're always asking, how is your wife feeling? How is your husband feeling? How are the kids? Tell me how the kids are doing and the grandkids. This determines a, it starts from the first appointment when we ever meet with people to really dive deep, to make sure that all areas of your finances that you're listening to us right now, the use out, you out there right now, are all areas buttoned up. And the reason why I say are they buttoned up is because you may not have asked. People may not have asked, by the way, how are the grandkids? The reason you ask how the grandkids is could be a special needs grandchild. And, and what kind of benefits? Because if they have in their language persterpes to pass the bloodline and then mom and dad pass away and their son had passed away previously, it goes to the bloodline. Now, this is so critical to ask your advisor on a yearly basis, at a minimum on a yearly basis, hey, are we buttoned up so the Uncle Sam, the crows and the clowns don't show up? at the funeral to take my money. And we talk about that in chapter 11, my book, which is why when I worked with Dave for tech since 1983, 84, you know, in so many years, and there's a lot of good attorneys out there, but do they work with their financial advisor and their tax advisor as they conglomerate, as they, uh, they collaborate together to protect your assets? And the purpose of these trusts is to what? Protect assets and to get as much that you've paid in the government you get out. And this is the mistake I can tell you I see so often, Alex. Absolutely. And that number 609-488-4646 for Scott and his team at McLean Advisory Group, 609 
888-488-4646. This all part of that holistic approach. That's why Scott brings in a guy like Dave. Not that Scott's not really smart, but he knows to even bring around even smarter people than him to help him you with know, this I, 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 stuff. I always have smarter than people than me, Alex. It makes me look, makes me look good. But he, yeah. here's the challenge, Alex, as you brought up, which is really, really wise. If you haven't brought this up to your advisor, you know, feel free to give our, our, our uh, us a call. And the reason why you'd call us is maybe if you want to speak with Dave or speak with Elizabeth or speak with someone who does this. They do this all the time. This is not a uh, a surgeon that is doing surgery once a month or once a year. This is you need to know the game because the rules change so often. And when they change, if they miss one dot, one, 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 one iota, one area, this is where the problems come out. And when the problems come out, that happens to what more chaos. And right. so your money could be at risk. Hey, if you, if you want to get a hold of Dave, call my office. He does the estate planning. Then uh, along with uh, Elizabeth, he, he's our consultant here at 609-488-4646. This topic, no one likes to talk about, but I like to talk about it because again, it's part of buttoning up, making sure your, your, your finances are, are really set up and as best as possible bulletproof for any of the crows and clowns that show up at the funeral or shows up when your lights are going dim, or maybe your spouse's lights is going dim and your spouse, maybe you need to have an irrevocable trust. Maybe you start setting assets for your mom and dad, Dave, which he didn't say is a veteran receiving 100% of veterans benefits. I served in Vietnam uh, and he survived it, although um, he's gone through a lot of challenges. But I will tell you, if you're a veteran out there or a spouse of a veteran, there's also benefits in including the benefits that we're talking about today. And this trust could be a great piece of your of your discussion. Hey, give me a call off the air if you'd like to talk to me. No cost. And we're not going to spin you or twist your arm. People have known me for how many years now? It's 13, 14, 15 years on the radio now at 609-488-4646. If we can guide you, if you want me to get a hold of Dave and maybe put you guys together, no cost, no obligation. You can ask him some questions uh, at his office. Please feel free to give me a call 609-488-4646 because there's nothing worse, Alex, than procrastination. And that is the demon of finance I've found so often. Absolutely. As that is Scott McLean. We're being joined by Dave Connolly, also lawyer in the New Jersey area for over 40 years, now a consultant for the firm of Elizabeth Apollo. And we're talking about something very important today. We're talking about special needs benefits. And you hit on something, Scott, there that uh, I think is important. And that is just who who are we talking about here when we when we talk about who qualifies for this both when we're talking about someone with special needs and then also uh, we got to think too from financial is there some sort of threshold or or how do you qualify for something like this yeah most of the time to qualify you have to be disabled Uh, for some programs such as medicare which is definitely not needs based uh, everybody qualifies for medicare who has worked and has turned 65 what is other certain requirements for younger people that they can qualify? Why are you looking also? at me, Dave? Oh, I said I'm turning <laughs> 65. <laughs> uh, so certain programs are needs-based. So there's all different programs. But if you want, we're working on a paper in our office. If you call Scott's office uh, and leave your email, we'll email you the paper. And uh, uh, you can get at least a background. Then you can decide whether you want to pursue it or not. And what about some common misconceptions or mistakes when it comes to special needs planning? Because I know without some guidance, there's probably some opportunities or some mistakes that could be made if if you don't have that guidance. I think it's the intake, number one, the intake form, the information that you receive. Did they drill down and get as much information as possible? Number two, how long can you, when can you apply? And uh is there a time limit? Could there be like a five-year look-back provision? I got a phone call last week where someone says, yeah, we're going to transfer the assets into all three of my children's names, and we're good. And I'm saying, eh, you're not good. You're still in trouble. You still have the five-year. And imagine one of the children spends a one-third of the assets. The other two has it. They're going to come after that third of the assets. So this is a problem, Dave. Oh, a- absolutely. Without proper planning, you're not going to get the uh, entitlement or the needs-based benefits. Uh, 
the trust is there to allow you a quality of life while you're still maintaining your SSI and Medicaid benefits. If you qualify for SSI in New Jersey, you're automatically qualified for Medicaid. Uh, the qualifications for Medicaid are quite complicated. They're, uh, they're, they're hard to, it's a hard process to go through, but once you do qualify, they're picking up $10,000 a month for the long-term care which is a lot of money if you're in there for four or five or six years. Why not protect your assets? Hey, this is Scott McLean. If we can help you, we would love to help you. 609-488-4646. Financial planning is not just easy. It's not a set it and forget it. This is why you give our studios a call. This is you. Maybe you're facing this. Maybe you're going into this area. 609-488-4646. I'd love to talk to you off the air. This radio program may contain information which has gone regulatory or other significant changes since its original recording. The information and views expressed on today's show is educational in nature and is not intended to be a recommendation for any specific investment, product, strategy, plan, tax, or legal advice. Information presented is believed to be factual and up to date, but we do not guarantee its accuracy. Investment advisory services offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC, a SEC registered investment advisory firm. McLean Advisory Group and Sound Income Strategies, LLC, are not associated entities. This radio show is a paid placement. 